Thank you. Welcome. All right. So you go ahead and approach the log, and we'll step out. Yep. Make sure you're gonna miss yourself, okay? If you bring this all back, make sure you come to the side of you. All right. Now, now Jesse, try to do what Dakota did and put your saw all the way forward, just so your blade is barely on the log. But you can't saw at an angle. Cause you're sawing down into right. the dirt. Oh, hold it. All right, hold up for a second. Hold up, hold up, hold up. All right. If you don't want to saw it down, you're gonna shoot a poke in the dirt. You want to try to keep it level, right? See the back of the blade right here? If you get that all the way up and then pull it back, you'll have more room to make that first incision. But once you get the hole made, you can start going pretty fast like Dakota was, all right? So go ahead, take your saw back. All right. All right, go ahead. Once you get that good groove going, you can usually start going back and forth. Try to keep the blade level. All right, we don't want to run into the dirt. I prefer to know it's Some things. If you're turning off the like, tree branches up there, I'm sure it's probably going to be easier. I prefer John Ingram. He normally has a chainsaw. <laughs> I feel you. You use a saw that had a stick on them? That you cut branches down with? Yeah. It's a pain. It's real quick. You gotta hold See, it. Some, some saws. About, talking about the one with the stick, and then it's got the rope. Bro, yeah, it we have one saw in there that has two handles on the side. It's meant for two people to go back and forth with. All right? You have to be extra careful when using those because you don't have, only have to watch out for yourself, but your buddy, too. These are a lot of fun. Yeah, they are, and there you go, a whole lot faster. And it's helpful when you have someone pulling both ways. Get down on the so. handle a little bit, Jesse. All right, Jesse. All right, here's the deal. Hold it. All right. So, when using a saw, you don't want to be pushing into the wood because the friction can hold it still. You just want to be moving it back and forth, all right? That way, these little blades can make the incision there. If you're holding it up here, guess what? It's going to be hard to move back and forth without pressing down on it. So it's a good idea to hold it all the way down here as best you can. That's why the handle is over here. All right, and if you need to, if, it, if it's getting hard to go back and forth, start over doing that uh, groove making that I showed you before. Once you got that pretty good, then you can start going back and forth. All right? Thank you. Yep. All right, go ahead. All right, make sure you're not running into yourself. Hey, hey, look where the, the end of the saw is going. Yep. All right, try and start, start at the back and try to make that incision thing again I showed you. I'll right, just pull it straight back. Do that a couple times. All right, a couple more times you can go make yourself a crafting table. John's like, yes. <laughs> Uh, I, don't, I don't understand like how to do those things. All I do is blow stuff up on creative mode. All right, now just move it back and forth a little bit now. Make sure you're not running into your leg, all right? There you go. Yep. Now you're right, ready. Just like glide a little bit. Eye on the ball. See, see the ball, swing the bat, run the base. You don't have to push down, it just like glide back and forth. It just barely needs to be touching. Alright, hold it from the handle again. Yeah, I think you're getting it. Go ahead, uh, pick that up. Go get the, go get the uh, axe. Be careful. All right, all right, all right. And you're putting saw, the, the saw down. Try to put the blade down. You don't want to lean up, or else you might fall and cut someone. All right. 
So how do you carry the axe? Uh, this all right, to the side. All right, cool. So you want to make your square, yourself square with whatever piece of wood you're using, okay? Are you left or right-handed? Uh, I'm left. You're right. So your left hand's gonna be down at the bottom. So move your left hand down to the bottom, okay? Your left hand needs to be at the bottom. Yeah, the other left hand. Yep. So. You want to square yourself up to the log. <coughs> Alright, so both of you are equal distance. Alright, now move the axe down slowly. Make sure you're going to hit it. Now put all your, put both your hands up. Nope, nope, put it back down. Now move both your hands together at the, at the end. Right, just like that. Now is that where your arms are going to be when you finish swinging? Yes. They are? Your arms are going to be like here. They're not going to be out. They're going to be over here. I'll try taking a little bit of a step backwards. Alright. Now, now put the axe on the log. Put your hands together. All right. So here's the deal, Jesse. Pick it back up. Your hands are gonna be like this. This one's gonna be holding the blade. This one, or not on the blade, but really closer. This one's gonna be at the bottom. When you go to swing down, your hands are gonna come together and hit. All right. That's gonna give you the full reach and full whoop, power. Whoop, Jesse, watch out. Okay. Yeah. How this? Hold up. Stop swinging. Stop moving. All right. We're gonna move this a little bit inward. Alright, so you have to square yourself up again, do what you just did before, make sure you're square, put it down there, so you might want to take a small step forward. Alright, try it again, make sure you're still level. Um, so, a little bit more about it. I think it's pretty good. Alright, Jesse, so look up here. You come down, your hands will be right here. When you get it right here, you want to start moving your hands together. So when you hit the log, your hands are together at the end, alright? Go ahead and give it a try. Good. Try to move your hands all the way together. Alright. Maybe a small step backwards. Alright, go again. Your hands aren't all the way together either, so you probably would have reached it. All right, you try when you're going down. You're trying to like stop it. Just let it fall. All right. Good job. All right, do that a couple more times. All right, bring your hands all the way together so you get the full power and length of that axe. Oh, be careful. So square. Your, all right, the log moves. So square yourself back up. Make sure you're the right distance. Maybe we'll take a small step. How, move that log. Keep the log away. You don't have to worry about that. You're stepping on that. All right, cool. Square yourself up. Measure it out again. All right, cool. Remember to let your hand slide down. Your, your right hand's going to move back and forth. That's your dominant hand. So that is actually having the control. The left is kind of just working as a pivot. The right is move, the one moving the axe. All right, go for it. Good, good hit. Excellent. All right, the log moves. Reposition yourself and try to get one more good hit in there. All right, cool. Go ahead and put up the axe. All right, blade down. 